Hello everyone! We've taken another trip around the sun, and it's time to shine the spotlight on some of our amazing volunteers who have helped us make that trip. Whether you volunteered in person or virtually, your efforts did not go unnoticed. From youth council and youth mental health advisory to teaching language classes on Zoom and supporting services that were created to face these unprecedented times, such as our senior meal delivery or food pantry program, CICS's volunteers showed up and proved just how powerful volunteerism can be in the community. Although we will be celebrating remotely once again this year, we're hopeful next year we will have in-person celebrations for our top 100 volunteers. Last year, we had some of our staff thank our volunteers, so this year we wanted to flip the switch and interview a few of the volunteers that were nominated. We will learn what motivated this group to volunteer, how volunteering has impacted them, and their favorite part about volunteering with CICS. Thank you so much for supporting us this year, and we hope this video serves as a reminder of how important you are to us and to our community. Without further ado, let's hear from our volunteers. So I'm an immigrant. I uh, arrived in Canada in 1961 in November. There were no support services. There was nothing. Uh, but um, there were lots of opportunities, and uh, my parents took advantage of the opportunities. But I have never forgotten what it means to be an immigrant. Um, both the opportunities and the challenges. Being involved in an organization that works with that and helps is the best way that I can give back. My most treasured moment, uh, and I'll never forget it, was participating as a board member in a citizenship ceremony that was held at our uh, head office and watching an auditorium full of new Canadians take their oath. I did that. I, it brought me back to that moment and I, it, was, it was a wonderful moment. Living in the area for 10 plus years, I really felt like I wasn't doing much to help my community out. That being said, by volunteering here, I'm able to get in touch with my community from a boots on ground type approach. I also get to meet people from all walks of life. I get to understand who they are, where they come from, and the experiences they get to bring to the table. This helps me make meaningful relationships with other fellow staff and volunteers here. I particularly enjoy coming in weekly, knowing the CICS staff prioritize us. They listen to our concerns. They can provide us with these accommodations. Some of my fondest memories include some of the staff actually bringing in baked goods and having us try them out being side by side watching how big this program got. Knowing that many of our partnerships that go on to help feed families, our partnerships are just expanding and it's great to see a lot of hands involved in this project. Uh, 我們義工司機每一天都把餐送給長者助人為法律之本其實是很簡單每一位都做得到的因為當你做義工之後你就會感覺到做人是充實了很多給到義工在傳承關閉裡仍然可以跟社會保持聯繫的機會
थैंक यू फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू परफॉर्म कम्युनिटी सर्विसेज विद सी आई सी सी आई सी एस इट वॉज प्लेजर बींग एसोशिएटेड विद कूला एंड जरमीना फॉर सिटीजनशिप टेस्ट एंड आई एल ट्यूटरिंग आई गॉट टू नो मेनी पीपल with whom i became very good friends i like the environment and the way it has been driven by cscs um it gives me immense pride and happiness doing this um service and ensuring i give back to society whatever i have earned and learned till now i i work with another volunteer uh, maggie e and together we we have um uh english classes for beginners and advanced uh advanced newcomers uh a few times a week when we we don't meet for a few months everybody forgets everything so we thought it was important to continue if we could and uh we got the chance to try using zoom and that's worked out pretty well some of the students that we uh we teach we've known them for for quite a while so mm-hmm. it's kind of like uh a chance to keep those uh relationships going you know like there's a social aspect to it keeping in touch with them is is really good but um i just in general i i um it's a chance for me to learn about uh cultures from other countries i think by meeting people from other countries it's maybe better better helps you understand mm-hmm. other cultures that that that's what i that's what i really enjoy about it and i get how immigrant youth this year who just landed in canada like the struggle they face and how difficult it is for them to emerge into the culture step their step their out of the comfort zone to establish connection um with their community i also you know learn to juggle in school and extracurricular at the same time and succeed at both of them i also learned on um, to use different platforms and social medias in order to polish the products like i used i learned how to use canva like photoshop illustrator and stuff also kahoot i'm kind of an expert at kahoot now i can um organize like a internal social event where we the purpose of it is we get to understand each other better on cheering scs has definitely helped me grow and explore my potential and aided me to become who I am today. I'm such a huge believer in CICS. When I joined the board about 3 years ago, I was so impressed with the dedication and the creativity of CICS management and staff and their ability to work with all ages of newcomers from preschoolers to youth to seniors it was a complete no brainer that i would stick around through thick and through thin the way cics has responded to the pandemic the energy and the nimbleness of of the cics team have been a complete inspiration to me When reading the news, I felt discouraged. But when seeing all that CICS is doing, I felt encouraged. For instance, moving English instruction online, converting space to COVID testing sites, delivering meals to seniors, and the teams of volunteers that have come together to manage the food bank. All these CICS initiatives are helping us past the pandemic and are a constant source of inspiration to me.